Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, today it's going to be Jared and Ivanka. You know, they've got the money. The Saudis gave them a couple billion dollars to put into a, uh, uh, I think I'm going to say a hedge fund, some sort of an investment fund that Jared's going to manage. And um, what else is that except a way to give Jared and Ivana payment for something? But anyway, so we'll look into that, see have they done something wrong? Are they going to get looked into like Biden's uh, son got looked into? Will they be found guilty? Just general questions, and it'll be fast. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Yep, so today it's going to be all about uh, Jared and Ivanka. So, what is going on with that couple? Are they going to have to pay for... And did they do anything wrong? Let's ask that first. Have they done anything wrong? Um, financially, because morally, I'm sure that list is endless. But uh, have, have they done anything wrong in connection with the time that they spent in the White House, specifically Jared? And then, um, because Ivanka will say, I don't know what he was doing. Obviously. And then, um, will they be caught up with? Um, and will it be in the next five years? So, well, before we do anything, you know, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, Jared and Ivanka, because nobody's talking about them now. They're out of the limelight, they're laying low, and uh, and you have to admit, even uh, Donnie isn't doing much. Eric pops up once in a while and says a thing or two, but Ivanka and Jared, Ivanka and Jared. So the first question, did they do anything wrong? Cards know what I mean. Three cards, one, two, Three. And honestly, I maybe should have done them separately because they could have done things wrong individually. But in general, have 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 can anything be wrong be attributed to those those two that they've done uh, specifically financially? Obviously, first card, high priestess. So this uh, high priestess is lots of protection. Actually, it's the second uh, uh, second card of the major arcana, and um, it has to do with uh, not just secrets, but really uh, almost a motherly uh, influence. So I'm not sure how that plays out as to whether Jared and Ivanka did anything wrong, but we have the high priestess. We'll see how it reads now. Second card up is, ah, the two of cups. The two, so this is emotion. The two are hand in hand in making some of these decisions. That's what that tells me. So high priestess, this may mean Ivana, Ivanka is more involved than we think. High priestess. And then the star card. So this is all the... Um, the star power that they bring. You know, I think we need three more cards for this. So Ivanka, or maybe this is telling you that it's Ivanka who's the one who did something wrong. I don't know. Three cards here. I honestly think she's more scared. Once she gets her finger in the cookie jar, I don't think she'll do it again. The Empress card. So this is the same spirit again. The Empress, kind of a motherly figure. This is Ivanka. Um, then the page of cups. So this is a very small, and again, we've got cups again. So this is a union between the two, but it's not that strong. Okay. And then the final one uh, right here is a magician making things happen. Yeah. So they have done something wrong. They have, um, and uh, Ivanka is not an innocent in any of this. Okay. So now, uh, will they be caught in the act. Well, not in the act, but will they be caught? Will they be accused? Will they be, you know, will they have to uh, atone for whatever this is? And remember, this is a, a quick question video, so it'll be uh, quicker than most, I, I think. Anyway, so will they have to atone for their indiscretions? One, two, three, Ivanka and Jared. Man. First card. Yep, this is the Ace of Coins, big card of value. Uh huh. They're gonna go down together, the lovers' cards. And look, that even looks like Jared, doesn't it? And then the final card, that High Priestess comes back. She's going to pull herself up out of it, and Jared's going to take the fall. 
That's what I got. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Oh, say so. This is a Grand or Tarot Grand Lux. Tarot Grand Lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box. And uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read and, you know, handheld. And, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use. And they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards. But if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get to your energy all over the all over them, and um, and so I don't know. I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, Tarot Grand Lux. It's some funny thing that I always want to say Grand Lux Tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going.